Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the this channel. Today we are going to be setting up an Edge Router X from Ubiquity. So a few things before we begin. I am plugged into Ethernet port 0 on the Edge Router X, um, and I have manually set my IP address as this, as 192.168.1.5, um, 255, 255, 255, and 192.168.1.1. Alright, so as you can see, um, nothing is working because we are on the router. But if you type in the default IP address, which is 192.168.1.1, you will be brought to this basic setup page. Um, yes, I do want to start with the wizard. So it did not ask me for a password for some reason, um, but the default login is UBNT and UBNT. Uh, and I can show this now if I were to log out and I log in. So UBNT, UBNT is the default login. And you will want to change that later. We're going to click yes to go to the basic setup wizard, um, and that will be a good setup for most people. So DHCP, that's fine. Static IP, if you have a static IP, you will most likely know. Uh, you'll enter that in from your internet provider. And PPPoE, if you have that, you will also most likely know. Um, if DHCP is not working, you can call your ISP and ask them if they do have PPPoE. Most likely they do not. Uh, we're going to enable the firewall for IPv6 and IPv4, that's good. Um, and DNS servers, blah, blah, blah. Um, this, will just, uh, this option will be fine. Um, you can manually select DNS servers if you wanted 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 or 1.1.1.1, whatever you want, you can manually select those. I'm going to do use servers provided through your internet service provider. Uh, one LAN, um, you can just leave this on for now. You can always add more later. Uh, LAN ports. This should just be set to the default, unless you wanted to change your subnet, in which I do. So my subnet for this is going to be 172.192.55.0. Okay, so yes, this is a within the class A range, which I believe is 127.255.255.255, but I think it might be 172, so I don't know. Whatever Google just told me is probably wrong. All right, so our user, um, we're going to create a new admin user. That way you can select your own username, and that will be a little more secure than just using the UBNT user. So this user is going to be Beam Networks, and the password is going to be... Okay, so our user is going to be Beam Networks, and our password is going to be something I paste in there. Uh, we're going to click Apply. As you can see, it's going to want you to change a few settings here. It's the clients, DHCP, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yes, we're going to click Apply Changes. So since I'm on a Mac, um, what you want to do is, obviously, I have a manual IP address selected. That menu looks kind of weird. Uh, and you're going to change that to DHCP and click Apply. And it will to connect to your device. So we're going to go move the Ethernet ports. I'm going to plug into Ethernet port 1 and plug an Internet connection into port 0. Okay, awesome. So as you can see, we have an IP address that has been assigned to us. So 172.192.55.38. We're going to once again copy this IP address and paste it into our browser. Um, as you can see, if we click proceed, perfect. But yeah, that's kind of a basic setup of the edge router. Um, I can do some more in-depth videos in the future, but this is just the basic setup of our first network um, at Beam Networks for the YouTube channel. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. There will be more tutorials coming soon. Um, we'll get into virtual machines and Linux and Kali Linux maybe and have some fun with that. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you later.